So in this first set of demos, you've seen some great examples of how NI's software-based approach to test can help significantly reduce test times in a production environment. But it can also help reduce the time to integrate or leverage new technologies. Now I'd like to shift to the other end of the application spectrum and talk about how graphical system design is helping domain experts rapidly create innovative new machines, custom instrumentation, and other devices. Now many innovative ideas have been stifled because domain experts don't have the time or resources to develop custom hardware, or perhaps they're lacking the knowledge across disciplines. But when given the right tools, it is simply amazing to see what our customers are able to do. And just off stage here, we have some examples of such customer solutions. And to walk through those, please welcome product manager Todd Doverson. Thanks, John. So down here, we have four machines and devices that engineers and scientists have prototyped and deployed faster using LabVIEW graphical system design tools and NI embedded hardware. This first, first machine we have here is the Eco ATM e-cycling station. This machine is used for pricing and buyback of used cell phones. The brains of this device is Neural ID's Cure virtual instrumentation library for LabVIEW, which is used for pattern recognition and to quickly learn and identify new cell phone types. Over here, these two devices are bioreactors, which are used for the production of cell-derived vaccines and pharmaceuticals from PBS Biotech. In these machines, we have an 80-liter and a 3-liter bioreactor that have an embedded single-board real control system that's precisely controlling the temperature, pH, agitation level, and oxygen level of the culture. The productivity of LabVIEW graphical system design tools allowed PBS Biotech and Alliance member Sci Systems to quickly prototype and deploy these machines and shorten their time to market. Over here, this uh, intimidating but kind of cute machine is the Vecna Robotics Bear. The bear was designed to locate, lift, and rescue people in harm's way. The entire control system for the bear was prototyped with a single compact Rio system in LabVIEW, performing all the sensing and all the actuation of the bear. Stay tuned for a closer look at this gentle giant a little later in the keynote. And then finally, last but certainly not least, is this very impressive 3D scanning machine for detecting defects in parts built by Imaging Lab, an alliance member in Italy. At the heart of this machine, we have a single compact Rio system that's simultaneously coordinating four different industrial robotic arms, all from different manufacturers, all within a single LabVIEW program. In the past, this would have required a variety of programming language, languages and a lot of engineering work. The engineers at Imaging Lab use their own LabVIEW library for industrial robotics and program this entire robotic cell in only two days with LabVIEW. So there you have it, four very exciting brand new machines, all of which will be down on the Expo show floor throughout the week. So go down and take a closer look. All right, thanks, Todd. Let's hear about one more innovative machine. 